OK, we're going to learn how to do uh, an enlargement using what's called the polar method or the radial method. And in this question, you're asked to enlarge the figure uh, A, B onto D, C. So that means that this length here, A, B, will fit onto this length, D, C, and the F will be enlarged so it's bigger okay so the first thing to do is to extend these lines because you're going to use these to generate uh, all of your reference lines and then the next thing to do <clears throat> is to draw a line from D through B onto this baseline and you get a point called P which we'll see in a moment Okay, then the next thing we'll do is we'll bring up these reference lines onto our vertical to get our vertical dimensions and also importantly to get our horizontal dimensions. These are our horizontal dimensions. Okay, so these are very simple dimensions. Sometimes it's a good idea to number these for clarity for your own understanding. Then what we can do is we can project <coughs> a line through P for this vertical dimension onto this vertical dimension. So this line projected here goes through P, through our vertical here, which is the this reference line, and that's gonna give us the reference line for the top part of our F. That's gonna give us the reference line for the middle part of our F here, and that's gonna give us the reference line for the lower part of our F, okay? And next what we do is we're going to do our horizontal dimensions. So what we do is we draw at 40 to 5 degrees our reference lines onto this vertical line. Okay. And then <clears throat> we project a line through P onto this vertical where it meets this 45 degree. And where this hits this line DC, we bring down a 45 degree. Okay, so there are our points. Our point goes through P, through this reference line, and hits here. And then we can bring all of those points up. We're bringing them always up at 45 degrees. And then we bring these points through P, hitting our line. And then we bring these points through point P, through these reference lines, up onto this vertical. And then to get this horizontal dimension, what we've done is we've taken this length, this horizontal length across here, we've brought it up at 45 degrees, where it's hit this vertical, We've projected the line through P up onto this vertical, and now we're going to bring a line down at 45 degrees. And that's going to give us the length of the top of our F. Okay, so that's the length of the top of our F. Right, so we continue doing this. It's easiest to do it piecewise, to do like each line as you're going around. So these are all the lengths projected down. These are all the heights. And then working those all together, this is how we get our F shape. 